Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Studio 28E and I'm here to show you my Blue Jean Girl um, journal. I made her out of a kit that I designed. It's in my Etsy shop. It's called Denim and Lace and you can purchase the kit there. This journal is 9 by 6. It's got a 2 inch spine but she's kind of stuffful so she's a lot thicker than 2 inches. She has several layers on the front. There's lace, ribbon, some tooling, some gauze, her cheesecloth, blue cheesecloth, a little bit of lace here. This beautiful, if you can see, trim I got at Hobby Lobby. Several layers of ribbons and looks like strings and cords. It's really pretty. Has a Tim Holtz closure. I did a knob, and there are two um, eyelets on the back to run the lace through. And while we're on the back, there's a pocket that I got uh, at a Salvation Army store. They were selling just the pocket, so I thought, oh, journals. So I put a pocket on the back and a little writing card inside. Uh, there's also room in here to put something as well this was a blouse which is kind of interesting because it's all just puckery fabric this beautiful sparkly ribbon and on the inside we have three signatures about 152 pages i believe all the images came from the graphics fairy public domain or um the old design shop. And here's a little Prima Rose to offset the center rose um, image. Inside we have, oh, it also has these little corner, metal corner tips on it. We have a little booklet inside this little pocket. And it can be used for writing. This is a decoupage napkin. Here's the first signature, and there's uh, the same roses that are in the oval on the front, and they have stickles on them. There's a lot of lace. I did some stitching. Here's a guest check that you can use for a tag to write on. It goes in this lace pocket. Here's another tag that's the same roses that were printed kind of muted so it would create a different looking image and I put a ruffle and some trim on the bottom of this and that too can go in this pocket over here this is a banker's envelope or like you would get when you go to the bank cash your check um, and I decoupaged this napkin on a piece of paper and then I cut out the design and glued it to the banker's envelope and there are three pockets, cards in each. Actually, if you really wanted to, you could get a fourth if you open this up. You put something in there. Um, here's another little writing booklet made with images from the kit held together with these little brass buttons. They look like buttons, brads. Then we have some writing pages. Most of the blues were colored with food coloring and dyed with that. And I put it in the oven on a grate to get this uh, design. Some of this is uh, letterhead stationery. It was white and blue clouds. I used it for my first grandson's baby shower invitation 11 years ago. Here's an image from the kit. Here's um, a heart journaling page. Oops. I got this idea from G. Kerr. She has um, a YouTube channel. Check her out. She's got some great ideas. There's a little bit of trim here and some more of those little button brads. 
This was dyed in the uh, with blue food coloring, placed in the oven on a grid with circles. There's a pocket from the kit. It's been stitched and glued. Here's another pocket. Let's look a little card in there. It's lined with lace. It's a doily. You can use it as a tuck spot or just leave it. Here's a piece of graph paper with some lace. There's a page from the kit. And I used glitter pens on the flowers to bring out the highlights. And a little bit of bling and some butterfly trim. And on this side, I created three pockets using a book page and some scrapbook pages. And I did some tags. And you can write on the backs of all of them. And I put a belly band across here. And you can put something in there. But while I was doing that, I thought, why don't I just leave the lace there and make um, you know, a little tab? So I did, and then I decided to put tabs throughout the journal. Not the same type, but tabs. Here's another one of G. Kerr's um, designs. I got off of her YouTube. Little journaling card. This is old sheet music. It's even got a date on it that somebody must have been the day their assignment was due, January 16th. You can write on the back, and there's some gauze and some eyelet trim and a little bird applique. There's another blank page for writing with some more lace. The other side of that. This flips out. You can write on this. Here's the other side. Here's another tuck spot. It's got some nice trim on it. Um, all of it's upholstery trim. Here's the other side of that paper and I punched it with a fancy punch and made a tuck spot and here's a little envelope. There's nothing in it but you can add whatever you like to that. And this little doily and flower or the closure. It's the back side. There's another writing page. Dyed paper. Here's another one of um, G. Kerr's designs. I've not put anything in there. Some more pockets. Um, they're empty, but they're, they can hold journaling cards, notes, or whatever. It's the back side of the page from the kit with the butterflies. Here's some graph paper. I did a little washi and some lace. On this side, I put a graphic in there from the kit and backed it with a little piece of lace. Here's the other side of the doily. Here's the other side of the tuck spot. And here's three little um, tags that I cut out of the scrapbook paper that I did use. And you can use those for journaling and tuck them in here or wherever you'd like. And here's some of that pretty ribbon that's oops, like a baby blue and sparkly. There's another ring page. It's a pocket. It's a page from the kit. It's got uh, glitter pens on it. Dyed pages, another page from the kit. Here's a tag I made. It's got a um, vintage piece of doily, a button flower that I made, and some denim, and some of that upholstery trim, and some pearls. And you can write on the back of this. This little tuck spot came from the kit. I backed it with some lace. Here's some more writing pages. This is, I thought, kind of neat. This is a belt. Or the waistband of a pair of jeans and it had pearls on it so i put um glossy accents on the pearls so they stand out a little bit and it makes a nice tuck spot and here's um a tag this lace this blue lace i got from pam van a i don't know if that's how i say it your last name pam but it's v-a-n-e-e -E. Here's another one of G. Kerr's um, ideas. Flips over, you can write in here. Opens up, and you can put something in the pocket. And I put punch the edges, but I put ribbon behind it to make it more sturdier for lifting. 
It's another piece of lace. I believe I got this from Lindsay Zanore. Thank you, Lindsay. Here's an envelope that I created using scrapbook paper, and I put some little writing cards inside of there. It's a tab, a lace tab. Here's the last page of the first signature. A little bit of um, shimmer, not shimmer mist, um, stickle around the edges and a tab. And each signature has a bead, two different beads on the um, cords. One is kind of like diamond cut and the other one is just a round iridescent glass bead. This is the middle of the, this is the beginning of the middle signature. It's made out of denim. Has a pocket that I created with a tag in it. Some little denim bows with some little blingy buttons. This has actually two pockets, so if you wanted to put something in the front, you could. Used a lot of um, eyelash trim and whatnot for ties because I like that texture. Some lace, same lace that's um, on the front, I believe. Oh, this is up here is what's on the front. It's the back side of that with some stenciling, and this is a pocket. This is, um, actually belongs like this to help keep it down. So you can use this as a tuck spot. You can write on this. This is one of those waterfalls. You can put pictures or whatnot in there. It has a Velcro closure. And that keeps it in place. Here's some more pages of the kit another tuck spot from the kit. I took a doily and backed it on this tuck spot. A little card from the kit that's backed so you can write on it. There's a tuck spot made out of some lace. This page is from the kit. It's got stitching around it. It's got some of that um, upholstery trim. It's a page from the kit. McCall's 1918. It's a tag that I made. It's a blank tag. Oops. You can decorate it. Here's a um, index card that's been dyed. Has a piece of lace and some cheesecloth. So this little embellishment for the tab. So a pocket from the kit that's lined with lace. It's a page from the kit. I put Cut up this piece of lace and put the little flowers where the flowers are on the trim here and then put a little bit uh, bling in the center of each. That page has been stitched. This is from the kit. Here's a doily from the kit. This one's been anchored down a little bit more to make a pocket out of it. I put um, a piece of scrapbook paper on there to dress it up. Here's some lace on the graph paper. The page from the kit. The heart is actually like a beaded heart, and then I put some stickles on it to make it glossy. And I put stickles in the middle of these buttons that I added with the doilies. They're printed, they're not real buttons. And another page from the kit. This image on here is from the kit. There's an index card to write on, and I put some children on, um, on it for a tab. Tim Holtz, Paper Dolls, I believe it's called. Here's um, a tab. Here's another one of G's um, tuck spots and a writing card. Here's an envelope. There's a writing sheet. And we're in the middle of the second signature. This is a but image of a button from the kit. And it's got a lot of stickles and a lot of glossy accents on it. To I tried to give it a realistic look. It's puffy in the center and shiny. There's a pocket there with a couple of index cards that are accented with some washi tape. Here's um, some more of those heart journaling pages you can write on. It's got gesso on it so the writing will be easier to see. There's two. There's a smaller one and a larger one and they're tucked in this band. There's another one of those tuck spots. Here's a tag with a bird on it. 
and you can write on the back of it. I guess I need to add something to that. Now here, this is G's um, design as well. It's four little hearts that are also writing pages. So you can write on them and put them back. It'd be a secret. I thought that was really cute. Put all those together so I don't lose them. Page on the kit, more dyed pages, some of that fancy ribbon. This is page from the kit. There's that heart again with the stickles. Graph paper with lace. The other side of that doily that uh, can be used as a pocket. There's a page from the kit with the trim on it. There's eyelet trim on this dyed page. This is a page from the kit. has a tab. Page from the kit. This is a tuck spot. This is another one of those little envelopes that flip out and you can fill it with cards or whatever. It's a writing card. And a lace pocket. It's a page from the kit with this beautiful peacock and some jewelry. There's a corner tuck spot and here's a writing sheet. It has a little bit of lace on it for a closure. Decorated with a little denim flower. A little bit of lace. Um, it's not really lace. It's a trim. It kind of resembles bows. There's the back side of the last page of the second signature. And it too has pocket on the back with a tag that you can write on it. Same thing. Double pockets. And here's the beginning of the third signature. It's got... These were actually sequins on the print so I went around and put stickles on them to make them shiny some lace here's a tag a large tag it has twine on it for them and here's a little writing card it's that little doily it's another tuck spot made from that napkin decoupage and the bank envelope and there's a tag in it and a guest check and there's also a place no this one I glued down but you can put something in here if you'd like this one I left open on the side so you can put something in there dyed paper, doily, graph paper with lace here's a tag from the kit There's a little girl that I decorated this little pocket with. And here's a little tag. Page from the kit that has the stickles on it. Another page from the kit. It's got writing lines. Here's a flip out you can write on. That's a page from the kit. This too is from the kit. It's a pocket. Some dyed paper with some lace, some patchwork from the kit, back side of one of those pockets with a tag. This side has a little flip up, flip down kind of thing, writing space inside. Butterfly holds it together. More of the stationery, the inside of the second, third signature, excuse me. got a pocket they're both pockets this one has uh, index cards this one has nothing right now here's another one of those little pockets with a tag and this comes out of the tag because the tag has a tuck spot you can write on both of them it's another tuck spot from the kit I guess I better mark this because that needs to be glued down a little bit I think another page from the stationery sorry this is from the kit I put a little bit of bling and some stickles on it and this is from the kit this page is from the kit 
another tab, some stitching. I don't know if you can see the stitching, but like some lace kind of stitching on these. Some of them have zigzag, some of them have the lace. It's another one of those tuck spots with little girls and some eyelash trim and some jute. Here's a little blank tag. Graphic, uh, graph paper with washing and lace. Another one of those okay. flip out envelopes. Here's a tag, it's got roses on it, or a rose, a piece of vintage doily, and you can write on the back of that. There's another tag with um, sheet music and vintage doily and some hydrangeas. Here's another tag with a butterfly, some lace, and an image that I've had forever. It's a lady with a lot of lace. And you can write on the back of that. And this is an image from the kit that I cut out and put stickles on. And this is the last of it, the back side of the last signature. And here's another pocket for you to tuck whatever you'd like in. If you're interested in this, I will be posting it in my Etsy shop tomorrow. Um, so you can watch for that. I'll post the link below and thank you for watching.